fossil and fossilization. You must have guessed the name of animals shown in the clip. Yes, dinosaurs. But have you seen dinosaurs in real life? None of us has. It is an extinct animal. It was through the discovery of the remains called dinosaur fossils. Let's learn more about fossils. At the end of this session, you will be able to define fossils, explain the formation of fossils, describe the methods of determining the age of the fossils, identify the importance of fossils in tracing the evolutionary relationships. Fossils are the preserved remains and signs of the living organisms from the remote past found inside the Earth's crust. A fossil can be a leaf imprint, a hardened shell or bone remains or even a footprint. The process by which plant and animal remains are preserved in sedimentary rock. Fossils and this record of history helps us understand what types of organisms that lived in the distant past. Firstly, the organism must die inside the water or fall in water shortly after death. Water protects the body remains from decomposition. Let's take a case of a dead fish. Though the microorganisms decompose the outer soft tissues of the fish, the external skeleton or the exoskeleton remains intact in water. With time, the sediments cover the exoskeleton, further preventing decomposition. Next occurs per mineralization. Due to piling up of sediments, the top layers exert pressure on the lower layers, thus making the sediments compact and finally the sediments form rock. With time, the minerals dissolve the outer shell of the fish. Over years, the entire fish shell is replaced and the rock takes the exact shape of the fish. Now, the fully formed fossil buried deep inside the sea comes closer to the surface of the earth due to movement of continental plates. As a result, the sea floors are lifted upwards and form dry land. The fossil formed comes nearer to the surface and easier to discover. If conditions are more favorable, erosion occurs and the fossil gets exposed. Let us now understand how to determine the age of fossils. Scientists employ relative method and absolute or carbon dating methods for dating fossils. Relative method the scientists first calculate the age of rock which housed the fossil in correlation to the geological column. Thus, if the rock belongs to the period before 50 million years ago, it is then believed that the fossil was formed around that time. Absolute method or carbon dating All living organisms at all times have carbon isotopes carbon-12 and carbon-14 in their bodies. After death, though the amount of carbon-12 remains stable in the organism, carbon-14 decomposes with a constant rate. Thus, by taking carbon-12 is to carbon-14 ratio of the fossil, and comparing it with that of the living organism, a fairly precise date of the fossil can be found. 
Role of Fossils in Tracing Evolution Fossils play an important role in the understanding of how the earth evolved. Fossils tell about the environment that existed in a particular location when the fossil formed. Scientists utilize information from fossils to reconstruct organism body types of extinct organisms to explain the evolutionary links between living organisms. Fossils are, thus, precious gifts from prehistoric times. Fossils help scientists to understand evolution and geological changes.